Uh, began in about 1978 when uh, a secretary at one of the schools wanted to be able to help out a family uh, get their kids to school. And they had about five different children, uh, but in the house there was only one pair of shoes. And so that one pair of shoes meant that each of those kids went to school one right. day a week. Uh, so the secretary, working with some community um, donors and some of the teachers at the school, were able to put together enough money so that they could purchase shoes for these kids to come to school. And, uh, of course, you know that attendance is key for academic success. So with the kids coming to school, they obviously began to do a lot better and were into the school environment. So uh, just that little piece is something that's built into the program that we have here. Uh, as and this saying, program started when? This program, in terms of the Kyrene uh, mm -hmm. Resource Center, let's see, there's dates over here, Twelve too. Twelve years ago, yeah, the Foundation Center. Yeah, 1992, actually. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, you know, we, we've been around for a while, and it's had a lot of changes go on, and it, it's nice that we've had, we've been able to uh, build this building, which is built specifically for the activities here, uh, and that is uh, our material resources, our clothing and uh, food distribution, um, as well as... Uh, our gently used shoes, which obviously really keeps up with the tradition of how Kids Corner or the Family Resource Center started. Right. Uh, we have baby clothes, baby blankets, um, uh, you know, to help support our young families and our future Kyrene students. Um, and as well, we're just starting to uh, get into trying to get our families to read a little bit more and utilize the book resources that we have that are coming in. Um, all of our resources, everything that you see here, was donated by the community, and so. You know, that's really important in twofold. One, it, it means that our community supports what we're doing here, and that's really important. How do, how do you reach the families? How do you know who they are? How do you reach them, that, that these families that need? Uh, the families that need really are reached uh, at the base level from our teachers, from our uh, 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 staff out at our school sites. Mm -hmm. And then as well, you know, there are times when uh, we may be out in the community and we see, and I see what's going on, our other social workers see what's going on, or the uh, classroom teachers that go out for home visits will see things in the community with other students or other families. And so we meet them at a, you know, every turn that we can. We're always kind of looking out for where that need is because we know that we have this here uh, to support our families. So right. when families come in, um, they basically just uh, sign up with us. The only eligibility that they have is that they are participating in a Kyrene program, um, and then they're able to visit us once every four weeks for material resources. Mm -hmm. uh, if they need service referrals or really any other informational pieces, um, whether that be employment assistance, uh, medical, dental, that sort of thing, they can give us a call, and if we don't have those resources here, we will refer them to somebody who does. Right. Um, so that's really important. We'd like to have this building basically be kind of a one-stop center so that when families do come to visit us, Anything that is that they need or any gaps that they have mm -hmm. in their support, um, we can kind of fill in. Uh, so not only the medical dental, but they can fill out forms for uh, different state assistance through here. Uh, we have the employee assistance program uh, in connection with Arizona Workforce Connections. Um, we have laptops to be able to give our families uh, computer access. Terrific. Uh, because as we all know, computers are our key. Internet mm -hmm. access is mm -hmm. key. You get to yeah. sign up for a lot of other things. Uh, and that communication piece is key as well. So not only the uh, internet sites, but we also have a program that provides community voicemail. So uh, voicemail that we can help parents get that's free of charge um, so that when they are applying for a job, they can leave a number right. and that person can call and leave a message. That's know? great. Uh, so just that communication piece is mm. really key. Yeah. Repeat that. Repeat that. Yeah, no, okay. That's amazing. That's okay. Uh, within the Kyrene School District, we have over 450 homeless and refugee families. Um, uh, you know, the, the, the need is all over, and we're finding that it's increasing every single year. So we're seeing more and more families, and that's why we're thankful that we're getting uh, more and more uh, donations and more and more help right. with our community. Can I hear again how we get donations and how we get funded? You know, the Kyrene um, Foundation gets funding from all kinds of community partners who support us. The building was built by community dollars through the bond election. Um, the Ahwatukee Optimists have held a golf tournament to benefit the foundation. Foundation members put on individual things like join us at the Diamondback game and $7 mm -hmm. from every ticket comes back to the foundation. 
We have individual donations. We have United Way campaigns. We have Boy Scout troops that take up a collection in support of the foundation. So this is truly a collaborative effort on behalf of all members of the Kyrene community. Right, absolutely. Yeah, but it's also our work area, so it kind of makes sense in that way. Um, this is where, as I say, all the magic happens. When all the donations come in, we process them. Um, you know, everything that we can use, uh, if we can't put it right back out, then we can store it um, on our shelves here. You have everything Everything. Back here. I mean, anything that you can think of, we take Children's in. Children's car seats. Yeah, car seats are a big Mattresses. one, actually. Mattresses are a big one. Uh, furniture is a big one. We mm -hmm. have a lot of families that you, you wouldn't think, again, that the need is here. We have a lot of families that come in that <coughs> say, hey, you know, my son, my daughter, myself as the parent are sleeping on the floor. We don't have anything, or we're just sleeping on a bare mattress, or they're living in an apartment that they saved all their money to get a permanent house or apartment, but they don't have any furniture in it. And uh, so that just, uh, you know, uh, graciously uh, donated to us really helps us to, again, utilize as many of the resources because if clothing comes in that's dirty, before we would have it go right back out because we didn't have the facilities for it. So now we can actually wash and clean the clothes and then be able to use them. And as well, some of our homeless families who don't have access to cleaning services can come and utilize the washer dryer as well so that um, you know, they're able to have the clean clothes. Um, and sometimes we get suits and things in that we hold on for a little bit uh, because we have um, mothers and fathers that need the suits for employment purposes. And they say, I don't, I don't have clothes to go on an interview with. And we say, okay, well, we have some bikes as well that we're in the process of getting back out again. So this is our community room. Uh, this would be a room that we can hold workshops in, we can hold classes in for families. Uh, different organizations and agencies will come and uh, have hold meetings here. And that way we're bringing more awareness to the resource center for those agencies and organizations. Um, we've had our Native American uh, Council meet here with all the families. Mm -hmm. um, we are hoping to get some GED and ESL classes back in here, maybe some citizenship classes. Um, wow. You know, we're, we had the Census Bureau there with us for about uh, six weeks, and so they came in. We have immunization vaccination clinics that will come in, dental clinics that will come in, and some of those are public resources. And here we're approaching the food pantry. Uh, Keller Williams Realty Center on Living last week uh, had a food drive and in that food drive we collected enough food for a hundred different families that will last a whole week and this is just part of it. Understand that these shelves were empty beforehand so this is running out already as I can see so we need more.